This is the story of the Philippine football wonder. In 2009, the Philippine national team was ranked 194 by FIFA. Within five years, they climbed 67 places, and now the national team, known as the Ascals, are ranked number 127. For the first time, they became number one in Southeast Asia. This incredible success story is based on the passion and enthusiasm of one man. This man is Dan Palami. He is the Ascals manager and the man that made a nation proud. And this is his office in Tacloban, or what is left of it. Tacloban is the city of Dan Palami, the city where the Philippine football wonder started and the city that has been devastated by the most powerful typhoon the world has ever seen. On the day of Typhoon Haiyan, my staff, the carpenter, and three of his kids plus his wife were here in this office. And when the storm surge came from the sea, it was too strong and too high. They started climbing on the roof, but the walls crumbled, and they were left hanging on the electric wires with the kids trying to hold on desperately, but the water was too strong, and two of the kids and the mother of the kids were swept away. Dan Palami founded the Ascals in this stadium. Through his initiative and the rise of the Ascals, football fever caught Tacloban. A new generation of enthusiastic footballers was born. Some players became idols. Players like John Wayne. Anlawan yu landa. On the day of the typhoon, we woke up at 5 a.m. because of the very strong winds. We scampered and ran to the house across the street. Only when we got there, we realized that some family members were left behind. I went back and found my aunt and my cousin. We were struggling as the houses around us started collapsing. Then the waves suddenly came, and the water was rising fast. Mataas na ang tubig. John Wayne lives in San Jose, a district in Tacloban where many promising talents come from. San Jose is one of the worst affected areas. John Wayne's fate is the fate of the city, the fate of an entire region. Almost everybody lost their homes, their relatives, or their loved ones. This was my girlfriend's house where I was that day. When the walls collapsed, we all ran outside. I carried her cousin while she was holding onto my back. The water rised as she was calling my name. I looked back, but she was gone. Right after the typhoon, we started looking for her. We searched for her all over the city, even amongst the dead. After three days, I heard that a dead body was found here, and true enough, a body was floating right here. It was my girlfriend. This is where we found my nephew's body. It took us another month before finding the body of my little niece. I lost the things that I treasure the most. My jerseys, my spikes, even my socks. I don't have anything. I can't play football anymore because nothing is left to me. We were not able to save anything. Almost everything was lost. We're trying to live normally, but it's actually difficult because we don't have... It takes time to clean up and bring life back. 14 million people were affected by the typhoon. One million homes were lost. 
millions lost their jobs and have no income anymore. The United Nations Development Program is here to help people restore their livelihoods. UNDP started employing thousands of people to clear debris. This gives people much needed cash and hope. Through cash for work projects, 55% of the debris has already been cleared. Among the UNDP workers are many football players. All the football fields are destroyed. But football starts its way back into the streets and any places these resilient people can find. This is what remains of what we used to call our futsal center. Football centers have either been washed away or have become evacuation centers. But the children are eager to play. And that's why we came up with a program where everywhere we see an open space, we turn it into a football field. Dan's program is bringing food and football to the poor areas. After the feeding, the children play football under the guidance of professional coaches. It brings back joy, hope, and a feeling of normalcy. These children have started to make their first steps, their first kicks into their new life after the disaster caused by Haiyan. They have lost almost everything, but they are not broken. They need our help. They cannot do this alone, and they need you to take these steps with them. These kids, they have found their joy, their hope, and their home in football. And football, it has found its home in Tacloban. Please, don't forget Tacloban, so that football may come home.